I think you need to drink some water. Probably. I should go get some. I'm out of Fuck. Damn it. Go anywhere. I wish I was there so I could just buy you shit. I could send you out with my car and you could just like go sh go shopping for me and just do all the stuff for me that I don't want to do. Yeah, it would be a fun adventure. I would, I could go I would tip you well. <laughs> then I could go out and get myself food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be like a cool trade-off. Yeah. Except I don't drive, so I'd have to walk wherever you um, wanted me to walk. Yeah. Then I'd really have to tip you. Yeah. Clearly, you have enough money to buy Fiji water, or are you reusing that bottle? Nah, I have enough money to buy Fiji water. You are not spending your money wisely, must not have a job. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. Um, I went, and I went to the store. <laughs> it does taste really fucking good, though. It does. I mean, it's much better than anything else. It's like, I'm high class because I'm drinking Fiji. It, I mean, it actually tastes clean. It really does. The soft taste of solid rock. It's got silica in it. <laughs> well, that's cool. All right. I'm going to go get some water and okay. drink it. And I'm going to take an aspirin. And I'll be back. Okay. Ow. I got a lump on my. I got a lump on both of my knees. I hope I don't have bone cancer or some shit. I don't think you have bone cancer. I'd have to look. Not that I'm a doctor, but. I'm a hypochondriac from hell. Oh, same.
Hey, beautiful. How are you? Oh, are you talking to Josh? Definitely. No, yeah. Raw room. Okay. Anna. Anna. I don't know. She looks like an INFP. Looks like the raw room thing. Hey, I have a question. You have a question? Yes. I have an answer. Okay. So, um, you know the the suit thing? Yeah, the base one. Yeah, I was wondering like what it would be like if you tried to wear a suit just to stimulate my NE for the sake of seeing what it looks like. That's pretty professional. It's fitted well. Yeah. Wait, okay, so what do you look like without the headphones and everything? Oh, jeez. All right. Are you adequately satisfied? What? I didn't even see it, so. Oh, well, fine. Fuck you. <laughs> Do you really not, did you really not see it? No, I really didn't see it because I've been bouncing around from different chats on Facebook. All right. <laughs> I'm I'll sorry. put it back on. Just give me a second. Okay, um, but this requires I, me you to won't, retain you, attention. Yeah, you won't, you won't be able to hear me, so hold on. Okay, cool. Swag. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Wow, well, that reminded me of something. What did it remind you of? And so there was a squatter in Palm Beach, Florida, but he made this music video. And as when the people kicked him out of the house that he was squatting in, they played the song very loudly in case if he was nearby. Hmm. Okay. It was kind of a funny thing. Oh, I, just... I don't know why that reminded me of that. I put my laser away. Yeah, I, I look flying in, in a suit. Actually, my uh, my standard wear is usually dress shoes, jeans, and a dress shirt. Fedora, of course. Uh, let's see. Oh, without my glasses too. <laughs> I don't really go outside without contacts in. What the hell is this? What? <laughs> it's been up all night is what this is. Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. I slept like a baby. Well, good for uh, fucking you. you. <laughs> we got an ENTP and an INTP in the room. It's beautiful. I'm sorry, I don't really like this song, but I see um, a guy with a fedora and a jacket.
I remember the only reason I ever heard about Blacklist was because one of my coworkers said it, I resembled James Bader slightly with my fedora on. And ever since then, I was like, oh, damn, this guy's, this is my style. I don't really like this song. Sorry. Not like your spirit animal. James Spader is my spirit animal, yes. Okay, I'm going to click no, on no. this link. You're, you're my spirit animal. I can't be your spirit animal. You don't know me very well. I could be like a serial Fine. killer. Fine, Anna is my spirit animal. Okay, I like that. Right, Anna? <sighs> <laughs> I'm just gonna troll the name slot. You know, every time I see like a name slot on something, I just put in random shit. So today I'm going to put in for the name Buck You. And I'm gonna click next. And by golly, I got away with it. All right. <laughs> Man, that's always fun to do. You know, it's really fun being able to sleep. You should, like, just get, like, here. I know what will help. Oh, you know what I should get? I, I should definitely get, you know, like, melatonin, you know. And, nah, nah, and, I have and, another. And I should definitely get, like, fucking diphenhydramine. And, oh, uh, and, you know, I should, you know, definitely get off my computer. And, you know, I'll take diphenhydramine if you have high blood pressure. Dude, do I look like a person that has high blood pressure? Yes. Really? Yeah. Dude, I'm, 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 my standard is lower than the average. Good for you. That's awesome. I'm being serious. That's awesome. Well, thank you. I want you to, like, listen um, to that. My, my yeah, blood like, pressure is usually like, out when standing up. Your blood pressure is usually high? A little high, yeah. Well, maybe. My resting heart rate is, like, between 90 and 105. Yeah, I've tried binaural beats for sleeping, too. It doesn't really work. I'm always fascinated the way you pronounce things because you're just like binaural. But it's like, I would pronounce it as binaural. 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 Yeah. Beats. But not like binaural, like binaural. Binaural. Like yeah, it's like different both though. Side, aural beats. Both no, no, no. Like, like the way you pronounce it is different than the way I pronounce it. I just yeah, noticed like that. Like an A instead of an E, U. <laughs> neural. You say gnarl. Hey, get your brother on here. Tell us what he looks like. Uh, if he ever feels like coming on, he can do it himself. I saw a shadow. You'll see many people's shadows. Well, who is it? It's my brother. It is? Yeah, that was my brother. Okay, get him on. Nope. We want to meet him. Too bad. Mm -hmm. No offense to your brother. I just don't want to meet him. You might actually like him. Um, I mean, he doesn't swing that way, but I mean, you you might think he's cute. What? Like, well, just based off of the people that you've kind of thought were cute. That's not why I like somebody. I mean, in, in a completely aesthetic way. Oh, okay. Fair enough. And he's more social than I am. Hey, Josh, did that, did you take offense to, well, did it sound like I was offending you? No, I'm just really tired. I'm oh, okay. Well, I was just curious because I'm I, I have no. If, I, if you offended me, I would let you know. I would yeah. tell you. Okay. So, I was over analyzed again last night. Oh, jeez, who did it this time? Everybody. 
<laughs> You're getting picked on, man. What did they try to analyze about you? Do they think you're an INFP? No, they didn't try to type me. They were trying to fucking figure out. <sighs> I don't know what the fuck. It lasted like for fucking two hours. It sounds annoying. People are, people need to stop messing with you. Next time you're in here, just like message me on Facebook. And then I'll come in and out. Like, they weren't messing with me. They're like trying to fucking like help me or something. <sighs> yeah, next time... Next time that happens, just like message me on Facebook if I'm not sleeping. I'll come in and then I'll just troll everyone. I'm Get curious. People wanting to help you or fix you, does that make you want to drink or anything? I was. Like, does it make you want to more? I mean, you're not really that I, bad, though. No, That's personally, I, I have no judgments, dude. I mean, I always tell people if... If you think it's becoming a problem, it's becoming a problem. That's it. <laughs> Until then, it's, you know, it's, if it's not a problem, it's not a problem. But I usually, uh, I usually see friends and family tell when somebody's having a problem before the person wants to. You know that whole like admitting you're an addict thing. Fucking, I just. God. Oh my god, I've got bags under my eyes. Yeah. I notice your your eyes get red, like very, very far out, and the the lining of your eyes gets a deeper red. Yeah, I've been rubbing on them though. I've been Yeah. Do you wear contacts? No, never. No. Oh. I have a job interview today at Subway. Should I go for it? Do your best to try never to work in a fast food industry, but if you have to, then do so. I told her it's not an ideal job, but it's a job. Well, the mentality that you pick up from working in a fast food industry is not a healthy mentality. What is the mentality? Um, lots of effort thinking, for little pay. Your outlook on life, your way of thinking, your way of approaching life. Yeah, well, I mean, I work with Dollar General, so I kind of wanted to kill myself every single day. Well, that so. might be a little bit different. Fast food is fast; it's, it's fast paced, so your day can go by quickly if you're like on the 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 busy shift. But um, you get used to this whole mentality that like your effort is not worth more than like a minimum wage or anything like that, and that's it's bullshit. My first um, job was at an amusement park, and I worked at a funnel cake stand, and I. Fucking hated it when I was like. I think, I think like yeah. I mean, amusement parks are like the shittiest jobs. Quite frankly, they are so shitty. Like I've heard about how shitty they are, and the people who work there just look so unhappy. And so I would try to cheer them up. Like I would try to talk to them to make their day better. I got so many girls' numbers there, but never got calls back. <laughs> Yeah. One of them actually, I met later in life. She became. Oh, wow. She remembered me from working at the fucking funnel cake stand. That's kind of weird. I know. I know. I would not remember somebody who was working at the funnel cake stand. I'm just saying. It Unless, was like, of course, we. It was like, like six or seven years later. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, I mean, I don't know. Like, I mean, unless, of course, we had a really good connection. And no, there was no that... time for connection. This is like, I would get, like, slipped numbers and whatnot. Oh. This happened, oh. like, fucking, like, six or seven times. In one summer. Which I consider a lot for that kind of thing to happen. Uh, I had a friend that worked at an amusement park. He, he kind of hated it. Who it doesn't? It's a shitty job. Yeah, I wanted to work in rides, but I was always afraid that it, like I'd accidentally kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Press the wrong button and like fucking the things would come up and they'd all fucking fall out when they were going upside down or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I worked. I I mainly got into call centers and things like that because I wanted to do, develop my 
you know, social aspect or, you know, learn how to be more charming. I used to do political surveys. Yeah, so did I for TPL. Uh, there's a company called McGuire Research Conquest, Conquest Communication. Oh, Conquest. Yeah. <laughs> they they wouldn't hire me because I worked for TPL. And they were a conservative group, and I fucking hate well, they it. they all are. Ugh. It was during the um, Clinton... Um, um, Clinton, um, oh, uh, uh, Clinton versus Rick Lazio for Senate in 2000. Uh, oh my God. And when you worked on Sundays and you called the South. Oh my oh, God. Yeah. That's always fun. The Bible belt. Oh my God. They Don't were just, you know it's the day of our Lord. Always eating supper. <laughs> yeah. It's called fucking dinner. Christ. Yeah, calling Bible belts during Sunday, or fucking call, calling anybody that's well off during any day. Um, I, I mean, like, fuck, dude. It's <laughs> me and my friend Brandon used to work there together, and we used to do ketamine, and we'd um, get all fucked up, and we'd like change our names and come up with funky names and like do funky like weird accents and stuff. Yeah, we ended up using a pseudonym up. for for work and things like that. Like well, usually I'll use like Michael. We didn't, well, we've come up with fucking weird shit. I don't even remember, but like we ended up getting let go. No, actually, no, we didn't end up getting let go. We, we did. We see, they, they would never, <laughs> what the fuck, man? Um, they would never terminate people. Uh, where where I worked, they would transfer you to uh, one of their divisions that's like out of state that doesn't actually have work. So that's how they got around like some bullshit metric of them terminating people. We didn't have a schedule either. We'd sign up for the shifts that we wanted. Yeah, we had call in every day, nine mm-hmm. nine a.m. every day. Ask ask what the shift was and what was available. It was decent pay though. It was back in two thousand and. I was just getting, I was getting paid like ten dollars an hour. It's pretty good for sitting there reading the fucking wow. script. Yeah, I got paid ten bucks an hour in twenty ninety nine ninety nine two thousand. I should say. No, wait. It, maybe it was like nine bucks an hour. It was like two bucks higher than minimum wage. And the thing is, like everybody there faked their like they would always fake the fucking surveys because <laughs> because no one could actually fulfill the quota that they wanted so most of the most of the surveys that came back were fucking bullshit well they well we had monitors yeah we did too we have a monitor but you can only monitor so many yeah yeah that's true that's true but shit i i used to i used to be a monitor and i i worked on yeah uh bert and i both worked at uh, the same place uh, um uh, I actually used to be on the well. Both of us actually used to be on the row that they would use to, like, sample for the people who bought the surveys because they had like the best voice or flow or whatever. They sounded good on the phone. I was good at I was good at getting the people to answer the questions. I would always change my accent though um, to match whatever um, region I was calling, yeah. or I would try to at least. Uh, is somebody in room one? Um, is that you? No, nobody's in room one. Nah, Where did Chloe go? <sighs> she was clearly crying before I came in here. <sighs> oh my god! Uh, what room were we in last night? Mm. I think we're in room two. Um, videos. I feel like that sometimes too. Is that Abe? Mm-hmm. No, but <coughs> you 
He knew what he wanted. Anyway, I'm going to go back to watching TV. Yeah. Um, See you later. Now you're making it sound as if this individual uh, used you. He did. I think there's no such thing as an absolute, true, objective state of what the internet is. So is this going to be a kind of video? Not going to be in any way and or more than that. More than that. Say, you ever wonder what happens when you have an opinion? You know, that moment. Anybody ever made an omelet of scrambled eggs, green onions, and ash from cigarette butts? So you put them up together and they snort it up their nostrils as hard as they can and then puke out last night's dinner? I've accidentally ashed in my drink before and I've been continuing to drink it. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I drank it out of an ash drink.
it makes me enjoy all right it makes me enjoy being around other people a lot just a take Aren't uh, hepatoxic? What did the government say? Okay, that's what about your life? I was like. I think I would have cut it. Did you post that? You would. Because, see, the thing is, well, you, Josh, you're not more than, in my opinion. I think last night it, it almost pissed me off. I cut. Well, the pills like, I choose to take aren't. Of course, oh. I went with something chill today. <laughs> How many of I gonna impersonate people here? I have this one good dog. Competition. Shit. Depends on which company. <laughs> no, the imagination. Imagination. <laughs> <laughs> John, that shirt is awfully low. But, uh, dude, I'm dude. trying to expose his cleavage. Okay. No, it's just, Wait, it's a comfortable shirt to be sitting around a hot house in. Vegas, fool. I feel like that sometimes, too. Nothing wrong with that. No, but he, he knew. He knew what he wanted when he started following me. And I didn't. Making it sound as if. This individual uh, used you. He did. Yeah. It must have been in your heart. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Yes, that's all I wanted. I wanted a platonic relationship. That was not enough for him. So I entered into a romantic relationship that I didn't want. Which was fucking terrible. And I was crying every day over Robert and it was pissing him off and making him angry. And he was emotionally like abusive to me because of that.
my presence is here.